This is a partially disassembled barrel pump. I have the cover off here and also the handle is off. So this pump would no longer self-prime when I would turn on the handle and I suspected it was the seal. So I'll show that later. So if I rub my thumbnail on the seal surface, it's actually audible. This is the seal that was in that pump. I couldn't find one locally, so I ended up buying a new pump. And the plan is to disassemble this pump like I did the other one and inspect the shaft where that seal runs. And if it needs sanding to smooth it out, then I would like to do that. And I think that will lengthen the time that that seal can be functional. So I already got this part loose. I put a mark across here as a reference for reassembly later. So I don't like to really pull it apart like this with all this paint on here in case that could cause a little bit of damage to the seal. But I really would like to take this apart and inspect that surface. Uh, the uh, rotors are coming with, so I think I'm going to have to tap that shaft. So the seal did not stay in this cover, instead it's still on the shaft here. So I think I'll assemble that with silicone. Well, I think I'll sand here a little bit first to take that ridge of paint off if there is any. So this is the seal surface. So I think it was a good idea to disassemble it and try and smooth that off. I've got some 320 wet sandpaper and some WD-40. Well, this will probably take a while. I don't think I'll record the whole thing. So after the 320, I may have used some 400 as well, I'm not sure. I see I have a piece on the workbench that I may have cut some off of. But I finished it off with 600 wet paper. And it does seem quieter now when I rub my thumbnail on there. So I think I'll stop with this sanding and uh, I think it's good enough for reassembly. I'm curious if the new pump will move fuel faster than the old pump. So there are some differences here. So this housing, the main housing, is actually a little smaller than the old pump. But not by much. There's some difference there. Old pump is a little bigger that way. But look at the, uh, the volume here compared to this one. So this one would seemingly displace more fuel per revolution. However, the overall diameter is a little less. I suspect that the pump here will move fuel faster than this one. So I had a chance to try out the pump 
I added some fuel to the tractor and also I moved fuel from one barrel to another. So the, the pump does self prime. I think it does move fuel faster than the old pump. However, I've got a leak here at the seal and I think I may have uh, positioned the seal incorrectly in that housing. Maybe I moved a little bit too far and it doesn't ride on the correct part on the shaft. I'm not sure, but anyways guys, another video, so uh, thanks for checking that out.